Everyone's Dev here, welcome to Please Don't Touch Anything Housebroken Overview. I believe the first game was around for quite a while at this point. Never played it myself, I think it essentially comes from the days of like, you know, Job Simulator and this era of virtual reality that I wasn't present for. This particular release I think was mostly advertised for mixed reality, but they had a VR one, which I always opt for. <laughs> if there's ever a choice, I will take my chances. <laughs> so please don't touch anything, Housebroken is an escape room simulator game where you're chilling in your personal home safe space and all of the sudden a mysterious package comes around to destroy your Sunday morning and unleash all the chaos it contains. From the technical standpoint, this is mostly an interaction experience. Whatever you'll do, press or lift, it has a meaning and will directly involve in the ending you'll get. Which is pretty much the point of this project, to find out different ways of complete destruction and annihilate world with you. It's hard to compete at this point in this genre because I expect it to die kind of dominates it. Although there's not much storyline going on, so this is just purely to search for puzzles and clues directly on the console. Graphics aren't crazy, but I guess it doesn't go for the high-end art style for no reason. It purely focuses on the mechanics and player psychology to kind of predict how different people think and what would they do likely next in their just thought process. Personally to me this is cute, nothing really groundbreaking, definitely something for enthusiasts, not necessarily for me. <laughs> Let's play with a console. Hey, is this on? Can you hear me? Looks like your home console arrived in one piece. I'd normally explain how this thing works, but I have to go check on an unexpected situation real quick. So just stay right here and whatever you do, don't touch anything. Okay. But we want progress, probably. <laughs> Fine. Oh, that was like a reset. Okay. Oh shit, myself. <laughs> Holy hell. That was very scary. <laughs> so what now? What is this? I don't... Get really what's going on here. It's an escape room, of course. Yeah, but I don't have those buttons at all. Oh, there's more stuff. This is a struggle. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I'm doing something. It's like a machine on steroids. Uh, I have three hands. Oh my god. Wait from that. No, I'm gonna drown. So, after a while, I'm not drowning. <laughs> but I guess it's the game over. So, it's just repeating endings pretty much. Ah, there's another number. Let me try it out. There's another one here. <laughs> so firstly this. Aha. It's a different panel. I need straight lines or maybe actually I need to do the earthquake So it's just about finding out the catastrophic situations and that's it. <laughs> Goodbye, word. Or not. Just collecting stickers. Okay, I mean, I'm kind of done playing this. It's cute, but nothing really high-end. It's just to pay attention for different kinds of endings you want to find out. And here's another clue. So essentially this is a basic escape room game. Nothing crazy, but I guess for enthusiasts it might be scratching that itch. For me personally, I expect you to die is the pioneer of this genre, though it's cute I suppose. <laughs>